Very good. Okay, thank you for watching. So we are going to do a quick video just to analyze three cards that come up in the cash flow game. And the great thing about understanding how to read these cards is that these cards actually reflect what is in real life. And so I want to make sure that we cover these three particular cards so that you can see note what is important to look at. So you'll see on the screen, there's this one card. Um, I'm going to show you three cards. So this one, there is an ROI mentioned right here. Okay, there's the 56% uh, ROI. So that is your return on investment. This is an important number, but it can be misleading. Okay, and I'll talk about why that can be misleading sometimes. The other thing to pay, pay attention to is this down payment number. Okay, that in this card, it's 16,000. Your cash flow is 750. So that means every single payday or every single month, you would have a cash flow of 750. So in real life, it would be per month. In the game, it's per payday. Okay. So then your mortgage, your the cost of acquiring is what it is. So now the reason why you want to be aware of this is being able to compare it to another opportunity that comes up because not every single opportunity is worth acquiring. Okay, so let's show the next card. Okay, so here's the next card here. Okay, so you can see it, there's a 24% ROI. Okay, and so when you look at the previous card, the previous card has a higher ROI, and that's based on a simple calculation of your cash flow and your down payment. That's it. Okay, so it's a very simple math math equation. So in this case, you know, when if you have two of these opportunities, it's better to go with the other opportunity because the return is a lot higher. Okay, so now you could see your down payment is twenty thousand and your cash flow is 400 on this particular opportunity. Whereas on the other one, you are putting down less of a down payment, okay? So 16,000 and you're getting a higher return in the sense that you're getting more cash flow, okay? So that's why this opportunity appears to be better, okay? Now in real life, that's not so easy to just be like, hey, you know what? If I put down this down payment, my cash flow is this, then my return is going to be 56. There's CapExes, there's other expenses. It depends on appreciation. So there's other things to consider when you're looking at real life opportunities, but in the game format, you know, this is as simple as it gets. Okay. So now the other thing that I want to show you is this amazing card. And the reason why it's amazing is because look at the down payment, zero dollars. OK, so you're basically acquiring a property zero down. OK, you're still going to have a mortgage of 50,000. So that's fine. But look at the cash flow. It's plus one hundred dollars a month. So that means you put zero in and you still get one hundred dollars a month. OK, so in. Um, so the strategy that this is most similar to could be agreement for sale. It could be rent to own, uh, wholesaling, okay? Um, all the wholesaling, once you get that wholesale fee, then you don't get it on a regular basis. What you want is making this cash flow on a regular basis, okay? So these are the three types of cards. And the other thing that I want to point out here is with this ROI, the reason why the ROI is question mark is because you're not putting any down payment in. Okay, so now you have to look at this opportunity, not just for the ROI, but you also want to know, well, how much can I offload this property? What's my exit strategy? And so one of the things that I was doing when I was playing this cash flow game with my kid was I would buy every opportunity, even if the cash flow was negative, just to say, hey, you know what? I have enough cash flow coming in from my JOB and I have other cash flow from other properties. So even if I borrowed the whole 20,000 and had to pay 2,000 in monthly expenses, I would have a cash flow of 400. So then the difference would be 16. And if I had cash flow coming from my other opportunities or my salary, then it was okay to buy an opportunity like this. Now here's where the challenge is, is because in the game, like in real life, 
you never know when the appreciation card, the market card is going to come and you're going to be able to sell this opportunity for the 100 or the 140. Okay, so just a couple of things to keep in mind uh, when you're playing this game. And, you know, like here in this um, video, we're not even talking about capital gains. We're not even talking about any sort of taxation or CapEx or any of that extra stuff. Like this is at the very tip of the iceberg. Okay, thanks for watching.